to discuss the revolutionary things that the heirs of Galileo hope to find out there, we're joined by a physicist who has helped coordinate the 2009 Year of Astronomy in Germany, Gabriel Schönherr from the Astrophysical Institute in Potsdam. Thank you very much for joining us. Do you share your colleague's opinion that the ELT will be able to detect Earth-like planets out there or possibly even signs of life? Well, indeed, I do believe that there will be revolutionary discoveries. If there's really life, we must see. But we will find many Earth-like candidates with ELT. Now, space-based uh, space telescopes like the Hubble really do have a much better view mm -hmm. of the universe. Why aren't we investing the 800 million euros in that direction? Um, I wouldn't agree with saying they have a better view. Um, they, of course, um, are in space, so they don't have the atmosphere to block their view. But on the other hand, you have limitations in space. Um, the telescopes can't be that large. We have a 42-meter mirror with an ELT um, in the planning, and this would just be too heavy. You just couldn't move it to space. Now, the ELT won't just be looking into space. It will also be looking at light emitted by stars billions of years ago. Are you expecting any surprises in that data? Yeah, um, the only thing that we can really observe as astronomers is light. And as ELT can collect a very great amount of light, I, we do expect that we see new things we haven't been able to detect before, which will be below the detection that are just smeared out. And there are different kinds of telescopes detecting different kinds of radiation. You, for an example, are an expert on X-rays. Mm -hmm. What information do they provide? X-rays uh, show us a hot universe, a hot and uh, explosive sky. So we see very different objects in X-rays than we do in uh, optical astronomy. What do stars in space look like through an X-ray telescope? Well, you would probably be disappointed because depending on the telescopes, it's just a dot. But it can also show structures, moving structures, outflows, jets, very high speeds. It's um, an amazing view. The ELT is a European project. Um, how does astronomy in Europe measure up to other countries? I would say um, that the European astronomy can surely say it's at the forefront of modern astronomy um, research right now. With a very large telescope in Chile, we already have the best performance telescope in action right now. So um, Europe and the US, they are both going in the same direction. We can really compare that. Now, as we said, you are involved in the 2009 Year of Astronomy here in Germany, which uh, also involves students aspiring to, to study in that field. Why would you, if you were speaking to these students, mm -hmm. why would you tell them that astronomy is important? Because astronomy addresses the most fundamental questions of life, of humanity. So where do we come from? Where do we go to? Is there life in the universe? Are we alone? It's just fascinating. I don't even think I have to tell them. That is, it is important. They would just believe me <laughs> looking at the sky. Well, we certainly believe yeah. you. Dr. Gabriele Schoenherr, thank you very much for joining us on the show today. Thank you.